Uh, hi, folks. Talk to you. Uh, this is just a, a test movie, really, just to test my new camera rig, my new high-end uh, video camera. So, you know, let's get to me. Stop the clothes and things. <laughs> uh, I just want to talk to you for a few minutes and then we'll see where we go from the I thought I'd talk to you about the, uh, the health hazard of 3D movies. It might surprise you. But actually, that can be quite you know, there's a clothes going on at the moment for 3D movies. And you have to kind of set the bar pretty high. People have a lot of expectations on the floor of the You might know what they No question. But you may not know that it's not plain sailing for some people. For start, 5% of the population have such poor eye coordination on either side that they don't see 3D effects anyway. And of those that do see real 3D, you may not know, but about 30% of people uh, they really trouble us. You see, you need a, a really clear image on each side, and if there's a slight discrepancy in the image, say one has got strong astigmatism or something like that, the brain has quite a, a problem making these two images huge. That's what it's going to do. Uh, and if it doesn't work, of course, you don't get the TV itself. But even when it does, the brain, the brain can be very positive, right? and people can get problems like headaches. And, uh, really see a bad of these images. You see, part of the problem is you're sitting in a movie, you're not still in your feet, and your ears, which are about balance of movement, those are what tell you what the body's doing, how it's moving. You're saying, you're sitting in a chair in a movie theater, and there's your eyes saying, no, we're flying through the air, it's high speed. And the brain can get very confused between these two lots of signals, so much so that people can actually feel nauseated or they throw up something they didn't do for us. Uh, get headaches, so you know, at least thirty percent of the population don't get their money to it. They don't pay you that, of course. And they take twenty bucks off you, which can say there's a better than uh, one in four chance you're gonna be disappointed. And uh, that's common for them. But uh, anyway, it's nothing to do with, you know, bad people in the movie industry, it's just that they're up against a certain element of physiology, biology. Uh, but it's not it's not so forward. I mean, you know, no, 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 you just experiment the movie just to show you a few useful tips like that. So, um, nice, uh, nice to talk to you, and uh, I'll talk to you again soon. Thank you.